if you are ready to clean out the Oval Office and get things done, we have a slogan. Welcome to Bloomberg 2020 and thank you. Democratic presidential candidate Mike Bloomberg there making his first official campaign visit to San Diego today. Tennis reporter Rena Nakano attended both of his visits. Rena, a, a very busy schedule for the billionaire. Good evening. Yes, he is very busy. The former mayor of New York City is self-financing his entire campaign, making him ineligible to participate in the televised Democratic debates. And that's why it's crucial for him to get out there across the U.S. to meet his constituents in person. Fresh off the plane from New York, Democratic presidential candidate Mike Bloomberg toured San Diego-based veteran-owned engineering firm Fuse Integration. This is a great city, and it's not just the weather, it's the people that make this place. He thanked our strong military community and promised veterans a brighter future. We will focus on expanding the Small Business Administration's Boots to Business program to connect veteran entrepreneurs to training and advisory services. Former Navy pilot and CEO of Fuse, Sumner Lee, championed Bloomberg's plans. He nailed it with talking about mentorship for veterans who are trying to start businesses. He talking about breaking down the red tape, making it easier for small businesses to get a foothold in the economy. Next up on his tour, an event hosted by San Diego City Council candidate Wendy Wheatcroft. There, Bloomberg took no time taking jabs at President Trump. I am running, make no mistake about it, to defeat Donald Trump. We need less partisanship. We need less division. We need less tweeting. Bloomberg pushed for stronger gun laws, a stance heavily criticized by the GOP. There's a federal law that in every gun store in America, they can't sell to people with criminal records, can't sell to people with um, the mental problems, can't sell with the people with minors. It's only gun shows and internet sales, which weren't, didn't exist back when that first law was written. That's all we're asking for. 16-year-old Caroline Zanowski says she feels the threat of gun violence every day, but hopes young advocates like her inspire adults to get out and vote. It really gets people thinking like, wow, young people care about this issue. It's really important to them and they can't vote, but I can be the voice for them. Bloomberg did not take any questions from the media today. He continued his SoCal visit by going to Riverside for the opening of his first California campaign office. In San Diego, I'm Rena Nakano, 10 News. A top